everyone, welcome to another Finally Friday video. Uh, this week I'm going to be using a stamp from Hero Arts. This is their, let's see, they always have the name on the side here. It's the Long Leaf Flower Border. And I'm going to be using three colors from Stampin' Up! to stamp the, the flower stem. And it's a Not Quite Navy Pumpkin Pie and Kiwi Kiss. I got these colors from this pattern paper from October Afternoon in their Cherry Hill Collection. I bought their 8 by 8 uh, pattern paper pad and it's one of the patterns in there. Really cute papers. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this flower stem in those three colors and we'll start with the Not Quite Navy. Just put a little bit of scratch paper underneath here. Clean it off really quick. All right, and then we'll do the pumpkin pie. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this completely straight, but who knows? Okay. Clean that off and then move on to Kiwi Kiss. will be covered down here so I'm not too worried about that little part. Okay, the next thing to do is take the pattern paper and I'm just going to adhere it to the bottom there. Looks like it covered up that little part perfectly. Actually, actually, I forgot I didn't want quite that much pattern paper. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. I'll just cut off that end. Okay, and now I have some uh, polka dot ribbon from Jelly Bean Soup. I'll just tie that around it. Okay, I have some po uh, red cardstock from American Crafts. This is from their Tropicals collection. And I'm actually going to put these together with the bottom corners instead of having it centered. And I'm going to use the We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper to do some rounded edges on them. This has two different sizes, half inch and quarter inch. So on the outside piece, on this red, I'm going to use the larger, which is the half inch. And then I'll, I'll flip it over to the quarter inch and use it on this corner on the smaller piece. And what that does is when you layer, layer them together, it'll have a nice, perfect little border. Okay, so I'll just adhere that down with some dimensional foam adhesive. Okay, the next thing I have planned is I'm going to take a white gel pen and draw some stitching lines. This is actually the second time I made this card tonight because I royally destroyed the first one because I was in a hurry. So that might be why this is going together even quicker now because this is my second time making it. Okay, the 
next thing we need to do is I'm going to fold my cardstock for my card base. This is just some not quite navy cardstock from Stampin' Up. And eventually this is going to go on the card right there, kind of centered. And I'm going to have the sentiment stamped right here, but I want to make sure it's in the right spot. And this is where I messed up the last time, so I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to pencil in on the side, and then I'll erase it later so I can see where it's going to go. And I want the sentiment to start about right there. I want it to be sort of lined up with the edge of the ribbon, so it'll start right there. Okay, set that aside. I'm going to be using a stamp set by American Crafts. I'm going to be using this A Note of Thanks right here, and I'm going to stamp it in Versamark ink and then do some embossing. I'll take the stamp. I want it plenty ways away from that lovely pencil line. This was the mistake I made last time. Okay, well, yeah, that'll be lots better. Okay, some white embossing powder. Okay, we let that cool for a little bit and come in here with an eraser. Let's get rid of those pencil lines. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready. Um, it's spaced much, much better. Okay. Okay, and there we go. That's this week's card. Oh, just kidding. I forgot one thing. I wanted to round the corners. So I'm just going to round right there. And round right there. Okay. And there we go. There's this week's card. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.